Alibaba Quen has released a new visual reasoning model, QVQ Max. This also has thinking abilities. So they have released this on Quen Chat. This is the first version of the model. And in this video, I want to try out a few multi-model use cases using QVQ Max. They also have a blog over here. We'll go to the blog later. Let's start by looking and uh, testing our, you know, QVQ Max over here in Quen Chat. Uh, so the first use case which I wanted to show over here was, you know, uh, we have this video of Bangalore traffic, right? So if you look at this is in front of Vidan Sauda. So I've uploaded this video and I said, where is this video from? How many two wheelers are there in this video? Okay. So it says, uh, so you have to upload this video and you have to enable thinking and it says over here that thinking completed. So let's tackle this question. The user is asking, where is the video from and how many two wheelers are present? First, I need to figure out the location. The building in the background looks grand with domes. Uh, based on my uh, whatever the previous uh, training, it says that the architecture style with these domes and overall design seems similar to Vidan Sauda. Let me confirm it. Yes, this is Vidan Sauda legislative building. There is a blue signboard over here with Kannada text. So the location is um, which is spoken in Karnataka. So the location is likely Bangalore. Great job. Then it says no counting, uh, now counting the two wheelers for every frame, it starts counting and it says approximately 46 two wheelers. So I did a manual counting in the video. It's somewhere close. Okay. So it's done an excellent job of, you know, understanding the elements of this video, interpreting it and then giving the location and as well also identifying objects in the video, like two wheeler vehicles and counting it. Impressive. Okay. Uh, then I uploaded another video. Okay. This is a toy uh, rocket propelled by water and you know compressed air so i asked like what is the physics concept behind this video explain it so here it says that uh, thinking completed basically if you look at the thinking trace it says the user is asking about physics concept behind this video the video shows a toy rocket launching into the air uh, so i need to figure out what physics principles are played here it uh, talks about newton's third law it talks about you know projectile motion aerodynamics and finally it gives an explanation over here the physics concept demonstrated in this video is newton's third law of motion combined with projectile motion and it gives a very good explanation of the toy rocket launches by expelling water and compressed air downward this creates an equal and opposite upward force propelling the rocket skyward this is a fundamental principle of rocket propulsion okay then i took out my favorite delhi metro route map okay because i got a very good response from gemini 2.5 pro over here and i said in this delhi metro route map i wanted to navigate from tekri uh, kalan over here on the green line to kutub minar on the yellow line so basically it has to either transit at kirti nagar and again do a transit at rajiv chowk or in the lok again uh you know a transit at uh, i believe kashmir gate here if i look at the response it kind of fails because in the very first step it says that the green line from tekri kalan towards huda city center the green line at tekri kalan is yes, tekri kalan is on the green line this is on the yellow line but the, this green line doesn't go to huda city center it kind of terminates here and here so i tried multiple uh, things to correct it but here it did not work but again i tried a bangalore metro map and i asked a question which is much more simpler where I said that I want to go from Pina on the green line to Whitefield on the purple line. It could interpret over here and it could identify the destination and it would give properly, you know, both the green line at Pina station head towards Nagasandra Travel 11 station south towards Majestic station. This line, both the green line at Pina station heading towards Nagasandra. So let's look at that thing. Okay. So we are going to board at P. Ah, okay. Not this image. Sorry about that. So let's go to our image. Uh, if you look at, we are going to board at Inya and we are going to head towards Majestic over here. I'm not sure why Nagasandra is on the opposite side, right? So that is a kind of a mistake over here, but otherwise it's fine. Okay. The green line heads towards Nagasandra from Majestic. Okay. But otherwise it's fine over here. Travels 11 station southbound to Majestic station. It should have been Pinya station, board the green line at Pinya station heading towards Majestic, not towards Nagasandra. Okay. Um, that's wrong over here, but otherwise it seems to be fine in terms of, you know, transfer the purple line at Majestic heading towards Whitefield travel seven stations. Okay. So this was another uh, good response, except for this mistake over here. 
okay then i tried a little bit more complex video so basically i uploaded a short film over here about a guide dog called pip right uh, so this video shows the bravery of pip so basically it's a small uh, dog and uh, you know when compared to all the other dogs which goes for training over here it is not able to do any of the tasks and it's kind of rejected but then it performs an action of bravery later and it gets awarded that's the whole story over here so it's an inspirational film about you know guide dogs so i asked what is this video about it says let me try to figure this video about and it says the title says southeastern guide dogs so it is going to be about that looking at the frames there's a building called canine university with a statue of dog named ace there is a puppy named pip who seems to go through training but uh, you know he's not able to do this thing but later there's a scene where pip helps a blind woman and the video ends with pip graduating and being honored with a statue next to ace so the question is like you know it gives the plot overview training process everything so i asked like you know his progress is celebrated when he successfully guides his trainer across a busy street why is this special so it's not guiding the trainer actually that itself is wrong information which it is pulled over here if you look at the video it's actually guiding a blind person over here uh, so if you go to the video somewhere over here uh, it, it kind of gets detected that it is not able to do the task over there but then it observes that there is a blind woman there is a pit over there it runs over there and then it you know kind of helps the blind person navigate not its trainer so it's not come up to the level where it could understand this video and it was basically awarded for its bravery over here right uh, but that's not uh, it's not able to capture that nuance over here okay uh, then i gave it a mathematical equation like this the grpo objective function and i asked it to explain so it uh, you know explain the equations over here it was able to understand it and then explain it then i said that give an intuitive explanation uh, so here it gave me an intuitive explanation saying that you are teaching a robot to play a video game you wanted to get better improve performance but also avoiding making reckless changes that could break it skills so there is clipping which is taking small safe steps um, staying close to the teacher which is your kl penalty in the equation and then then sampling is learning from past experience why this works by combining small controlled updates with guidance from a trusted source grpo helps the robot improve steadily without crashing or losing its way so this is like an intuitive explanation okay so it did a good job over here uh, so these were some of the use cases which i tried with this particular model if you go to their blog over here um, they talk about you know uh, why do we require visual reasoning because it helps the ai to not just see but also understand and think right uh, and then they talk about you know certain use cases like what you can do with qk max over here um, so how you can use it as a learning assistant a life helper workplace tool so i suggest you can go through this block going by the history of alibaba quen i expect that this model may also be open source at some point of time this is just an initial model uh, this is just an initial release they are continuously training it so i think the performance will improve further going ahead you can try qvq max now on quen chat um, you can try out various examples to see how it works for you a very interesting development again from alibaba quen the pace at which these people are releasing models is unbelievable every day i am seeing something new coming from them uh, so hope this video is useful see you in another video